Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Howard Moxon. Hey everybody, Ranger Chris here and today we're going to be going over how to beat the elusive target, the broker with Silent Assassin. Now not only do we have to do this, we also have to steal the ivory white egg which is located in Dahlia Margolis' room. So let's get to it. So the broker normally starts near the catwalk and will head out towards the garden where he can do one of several things. He could be either standing by a puddle by the far fountain, he could be standing by the edge of a hedge on his phone, he could be near the main puddle by the fountain or he could be smoking near the guard. It's totally random and he will rotate between these actions. Let's start with the first method which is silent assassin suit only. You're going to start in the red carpet and you're going to run into the main building. Now remember we don't have any items, we'll just use what's in the environment. You're going to head through the main sh um, map like you would in the first mission of the showstopper. As soon as you come out to the party area, you're going to jump over the ledge on the right side and go down the stairs to the basement. You're going to be a little bit stealthy here because there's going to be a hairdresser coming down the hallway. Just hide, wait for him to pass by and just follow behind him into the locker room. You're going to follow close to him through the locker room into the storeroom area behind. Wait for him to break off to the left. And once he does that, just run past him. You can grab the crowbar of the barrel here. And in this little storage area, you don't need to grab any of this stuff. The important thing is to grab the propane. Once you get the propane, head back the way you came. It should be pretty safe through the locker room, take a left outside and go back up the stairs you came down. Jump up the ledge into the party area again. And you're going to head to where the guard is. Alright, there's going to be a guard who's going to be suspicious of you here. Just avoid his radius. Turn around and throw the propane tank right near the edge here. Once you've done that and it lands like that, it's sorted. The broker will automatically be killed when he comes there to smoke. In the next 1 minute or 10 minutes, he will be killed for sure. I'm showing you where to grab this screwdriver here. It's a good practice to grab this screwdriver every time you come to this broker mission because you're going to need that screwdriver in multiple situations. Here you see me just making my way into the illegal area at the back of the garden. I'm going to the palace um, back entrance here where there is a pipe you're going to climb up. And this is how you're going to gain admittance to the um, upstairs party area without going through the building. Once you're in here, notice that I'm going to try to avoid Dahlia. Sometimes Dahlia is suspicious of you, sometimes she's not. I don't know what determines the enforcer status and I think it's the disguise. Well, the safe is in Dahlia's room which she just came out of and you're going to activate the fire alarm. This is going to throw the guards and foster status into haywire. They're going to not know what's going on. Just bust the safe with your crowbar, grab the egg and run immediately back out into the auction room. Again, the guards will be completely confused and focused on the fire alarm and they will not be able to see you when they are in this panic state. Just get down the pipe, head for the exit. Don't worry about even checking on the broker at this point. If you threw that propane tank where I showed you, he will end up blowing himself up when he goes for a smoke. All you need to do is head back out to the red carpet by the fountain and wait for the exit to show up. And once it does, you've got a silent assassin suit only perfect run. Next, let's start with a silence pistol, a coin and a lockpick. Very classic start. I'm starting the red carpet again and going to head back the same way. We're going to electrify this pool, which is by the main fountain. And uh, as you saw earlier, this is where the broker comes to make a phone call and just hang around. I drop a few coins to distract him and I'm going to use my gun here to just shoot the plug and electrify the puddle. Keep an extra coin handy in case you need to throw one and distract him a little bit more to make sure the target goes into the puddle. Now if you're going to electrify him in this puddle, you do need to stick around to make sure the target is the one who's electrified and not a civilian. I'm again showing you here where to grab that screwdriver we saw earlier. You can use this screwdriver itself to um, sabotage the plug. Make sure you turn off the electricity first. Sabotage the socket. You can drop a couple of coins after that to create a distraction and make sure you turn the plug back on to make sure that the puddle is electrified. And another reminder to stick around just to make sure that the broker is the one who's killed and not a civilian. Just like we did previously, head back up to the auction area using the pipe as you saw earlier. And again here I'm going to use the fire alarm trick 
to throw the guards into a panic state where they will not be able to see you. Use the lockpick to um, open the safe, grab the egg and head for the main exit. I usually avoid the helicopter exit because there are enforcers there. Just take a little bit of extra time and head for the red carpet exit, it's fine. Now we're going to use the briefcase with the remote emetic gas device. The first thing you want to do is isolate yourself, get the um, emetic gas device, put it in a briefcase, hold the trigger, run right next up to the target and activate it. This is going to cause him to get sick. The best place to do this is in that hallway right outside the bathrooms um, as you saw there. He's going to head right into the bathroom where you can easily drown him. It doesn't matter if the body is found, it is an accident kill. Now you're going to head out to the main garden here, grab the screwdriver. Even though you don't need it for taking out the socket, you're going to need it for this method I'm going to show you. Once you head into the auction hall, th this time you're not going to use the fire um, alarm just quite yet. I'm showing you how we can head right across the room to these doors here. And on the right here is a little set of doors opening up into the balcony where there's a lone guard. You're going to throw the screwdriver to distract him, wait for him to go and investigate the noise and then run into Dahlia's per, um, personal office here. Grab the keys from the table, it's on the far edge of the table, a set of keys. Head back into this room and now you're going to do the fire alarm trick. And the reason I'm doing this is because while the guards are distracted, you're going to use the keys you grab to open the safe and grab the egg. So there's so many methods you can use. Pick and choose what you like depending on what items you have. Here I'm using a propane tank. Instead of putting it where he smokes, I'm going to carefully put it near the hedge here where he can make a phone call. I put a proximity taser there. I shoot the propane to cause it to leak or you can even throw it to cause the leak. And eventually he will come walking by the propane and it'll blow up. Now the puddle with the hose in it by the far fountain you can drop a micro taser in there and you know he'll eventually come by and electrocute himself so you don't have to stick around for this one because he's the only one who comes to this area now you can start in the attic if you want it's a little bit more complicated it's a bit more difficult because there are multiple enforcers it's an illegal area there's a crowbar in the ledge which i showed and you're going to make your way all the way around it to just outside dahlia's office it involves you shimmying over into the bathroom, turning on the sink, taking out the two guards who are guarding the safe in the room. And you can use a breaching charge to bust the safe. Alternatively, if you wanted to panic the guards with gunshots, you can do that too through the window. And once they're panicked, go head back into the bathroom and to the room with the safe. Use your crowbar to bust the lock. You can make this a little bit easier if you take out the guards in the attic, one, one of the guards in the attic to wear the um, guard disguise. But again, as I showed with the red carpet start, you don't really need this. Make sure you practice this elusive target before actually playing the real one by going to game modes and arcade and then heading over to the elusive target arcade mission, the cart blanche, because the broker is going to be the first mission in that pack and you can play him freely with any items you want make sure your technique you want to go with is successful and then head into the real elusive target and knock it out of the park i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe it really helps us out and we appreciate you very much take care